Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Is it clear? Yes, good afternoon to this session, the first session after the lunch break. Hopefully you sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> On the other end, we have some interesting stuff for you. Participating in translation makes you an international open stacker and developer. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Yan Choi. Uh, I'm translating English from English documents to Korean. Uh, I'm now the project team leader in IA18 team. Nice to meet you. Yes, the first question is also for you. Uh, who can read or uh, read and understand more than one word in this um, word cloud on this page? More than two. <laughs> more than three. Oh, yeah. you are the right person. <laughs> okay. Um, another question is also, um, we have attendees from 65 countries on this summit. 41% um, of the people are, it's the first summit here. Uh, some people here for, from the first summit. One, okay, very nice. Um, who we are? We are the OpenStack AI18 team. Um, to translate this um, from our wiki page, the mission of OpenStack AI18 team is to make OpenStack accessible to people of all language backgrounds by enhancing OpenStack software and translation, providing translation, maintaining a translation platform, and managing translation process for better quality of outcomes. And what we are doing there, um, translation of documentations, messaging, websites, and so on. Um, documentation can you find on docs.openstack.org. Uh, there are user guides, um, installation tutorials, deployment guides, operation and administration guides, training guides, training labs material like for the upstream training. Other things on the OpenStack dashboard, um, we translating things from Horizon, also dashboard modules and command line tools like from Heat, um, Ironic, Magnum, Manila, Neutron, um, with plugins, Searchlight, Triple O, and Rove for some modules. And we have a um, translation platform, and we maintain the platforms and doing some enhancements. Some facts from our team. At the moment, we are 280 brave, hardworking, tireless, reliable, <laughs> mostly omniscient and friendly <laughs> Contributors uh, with support from 31 companies. We have at the moment um, set up uh, for 29 languages in 80, 30 modules. For example, we got in Bitaka cycle 41 modules inside in Newton 65, in Okata 72. You can find this uh, statistics and metrics on stackanalytics.com, um, there are lots of information what is uh, going on in the community. Something about me, um, my name is Frank Klöckum, I'm Technology Manager Cloud Applications at Deutsche Telekom since 2012. I've taken experience in cloud computing, 20 years in IT and 30 years in operation in ex extended sense. I'm team member of the I-18 team from Germany. I'm also a team member in the Enterprise Working Group. The Enterprise Working Group is working for um, enterprise application and enable uh, this on OpenStack. We have made for this um, cycle this document. You can grab this on the um, foundation um, stuff on the second um, floor. And I'm also the founder of uh, Cloud Kindergarten. Um, we, um, we have done this yeah, yeah, last, uh, last year uh, to um, enable 
apprentices and students um, to work with modern uh, cloud platforms like OpenStack and doing um, OpenStack also in education um, experiences. We have made also um, this document from one of our apprentices uh, for Open Telecom Cloud. You can grab this in the marketplace on the Deutsche Telekom uh, booth. Um, some of my motivations, um, I'm using open source um, software for ages, since 1995. Um, we operate OpenStack on the Deutsche Telekom since 2012. And I started 2015 with the idea, I want to contribute something to OpenStack. The problem is uh, I'm not a developer, I don't have Python skills. I'm also not a deep dived OpenStack special operator. You will know, you wake up at night, you know all the comments from uh, OpenStack CLI with all these error messages. Um, then I found a wiki page, um, need help to translate OpenStack, and I think it's an easy way to start contributing in OpenStack without knowledge in developing things. The um, next things, the journey started with um, translate application strings and documentation from English to German. Um, then won an ATC code, participated the first OpenStack Summit in Tokyo, uh, met them the I-18 team at the Design Summit. Some people are on the stage, some people are on the audience. <laughs> and working further on I-18. Um, I joined the old site communication channel um, like mailing lists and IRC. Um, I think I, I, IRC is dead, but um, I learned it's not dead. <laughs> it's a very important communication tool for uh, the OpenStack community. Uh, participated uh, mid-cycle sprint in winter 2016. We started with a project like uh, the name Translation Check Site, it's still ongoing, um, where we try, um, if you um, imagine you have to translate some strings, and you don't know in which context is the string. It means um, the server is up, the server is anywhere, or what it means. And then you can um, collect this information on the OpenStack um, horizon dashboard. And then when you fetch the um, language strings um, to the horizon, can, uh, you can um, compile this and then can you uh, compare is it the right sense in this context. That's the um, goal of this project. Um, my experience in OpenStack community is uh, working with a very international team. We had uh, people from um, Japan, uh, from China, Korea, Russia, United States, working also in very different time zones. Um, we are two people from uh, Europe. Uh, the, the rest of the team is mostly in, in the Asia uh, um, area. And if you want to join the people there, you have to, to compare the time zones. Is this um, midnight or is it daylight? <laughs> I think Ian will talk later about this. Um, not also working in different cultures. I think um, the, the best experience is the cultures in um, Japan and also from the um, Asia areas. Very good. Uh, um, I learned also OpenStack uh, insights. Um, we had many open discussions, open minds, and but also my experience is you have to push things forward. If you want to uh, reach some uh, achievements, you have to be working on there. That's not um, an auto deployment mode in um, the OpenStack community. I learned also the OpenStack contributing process and the OpenStack infrastructure and documentation um, environment. Some outlook um, continuity translating in OpenStack, of course, acquire more people for help, 
um, improve the translation process and develop some tools uh, for our environment. Okay, then I can head over okay. to Ian. Then my turn. Yeah. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. Konnichiwa, bonjour, guten tag, ni hao. Yeah, nice, really nice to meet you. I now, I now work as a sales engineer in Pierce in Korea, but I have many developer backgrounds. I graduated in computer, computer science as a bachelor or master in computer network management. So uh, anyway, now I'm leading uh, IETN team from the previous cycle and this cycle. And also, I'm now the third leader in OpenStack Korea user group from this year to next year, hopefully. Now, I actively contribute not just only translation yeah, from English to Korean, but also yeah, sometimes Japanese to Korean. But also, I trans also contribute some uh, internationalization with translation infrastructure and documentation. Also, I contribute something to uh, training guide, which is very important for new contributors to learn how to contribute in OpenStack world. And also, I sometimes submit bugs in Launchpad. And yeah, you can see yeah, via IIC, I'm very, very online because South Korea my country is very convenient for internet com connectivity. So I can go uh, from one station to another station by subway, then I can online anytime. It's very convenient in Korea. So for, for OpenStack contribution, actually, and translation contribution, it started from about around three years ago. At the time, I was working at Nine Networks, a very small company, but yeah, they focus on SDN as a startup company. So yeah, fortunately, at the time, I had good backgrounds on software-defined networking. So it is very uh, nice for me to also see OpenStack because software-defined networking can be implemented op on the OpenStack and using software-defined networking controllers, for example, Onos, Open Daylight, and U, and so on. So. Yeah, at the time, I was leading some OpenStack training courses in the company. But at the time, I was just an OpenStack user, not a contributor. I had no experience for contributing translation. Yeah, and I was familiar with a subversion SVN, not Git. So I, I didn't know. I just knew how to clone for, from one Git repository. That's all. Yeah. Also, I, I did not too much, familiar, a bit too much familiar with Git review, nor Launchpad. Also, I didn't know how to submit OpenStack box. But my life has been changed with OpenStack translation. Yeah. Before then, yeah, I had several motivations about OpenStack. First one is that, uh, in my view, technology is not dependent to just the local region. region. So I submit this one video in my bad pronunciation English, but I wrote uh, English subtitles. Yeah, I'm very proud of these two videos because it's just very easy to install DevStack, but it explains something a lot. How to install VirtualBox, how to clone DevStack, then how to execute DevStack with configuration, and so on. But those two videos have more than uh, uh, 30,000 views. So it was very nice, and at the time, uh, many people asked a lot. Yeah. From then, I tried to find many things through ask.openstack.org and mailing list, and I replied, please see this link, then it says like this, and then they were very happy. And also, I'm uh, very active in Korea user group community. At the time, I met one Korean internationalization coordinator. His name is Song Jin Kang. And Ayash name is nickname is Yuji Yushi. So after then he suggests uh, many people to join in translation. So uh, so now uh, I try to join in translation world. So yeah, I try to join Ayash meetings as much as possible because I still uh, think that Ayash meetings are very nice place to getting familiar with, to more get familiar with what the team is doing 
it's not limited just internationalization team. It also applies to Nova, Neutron, and so on. So yeah, at the time, yeah, yeah, also I try to submit a, a patch by Git review because in, uh, I also saw so some activities in I also do some activities in Korea user group. So I want you to create OpenStack minus KO mailing list. So then how, how to make that? I searched on Google and found that yeah, I need to submit a Gary patch. So it was a wonderful experience for me to submit the first patch as a first patch. And, and yeah, I attended the same summit as him for the first in Tokyo. At the time, I met Kato Tomoyuki. Yeah, he is a Japanese translation coordinator, and also he, he was a great mentor in the upstream training. I learned a lot, truly. So at, uh, I took a picture with Samurai, <laughs> and also I met many internationalization people. Uh, also in yeah, upstream training, I had a good picture with many uh, great friends. And so, yeah, to reprospect my life with internationalization, yeah, in my opinion, internationalization team welcomes yeah, everything. Even you say something wrong in English. Yeah, we are welcome because we are using English as a second language, not a first language. Also, internationalization has become an official OpenStack team since June 2015. Yeah. So yeah, it means that by contributing and participating in internationalization team, then you will be getting more familiar how op OpenStack official team is doing and contributing uh, with OpenStack world. Also, translation merges in really, really into real OpenStack official op or project repositories. So joining to development is also possible by first contributing translations. And actually, those projects need some knowledge for translation. Want, want translators to participate because they want to listen to some and uh, learn some knowledge, how to sync translations. So document and documentation also needs some kind of translation. So you can contribute anything related to the OpenStack world. And in my experience, yeah, IASH is also pretty nice. Yeah, one difficulty is that yeah, staying online in IASH as much time as possible is difficult, but I sh I'm sure that it gives you lots of better opportunities. So please be stay uh, in IASH channel with your interested channels. It's not limited to internationalization tip, team, but also other uh, official teams. And then in uh, about six to eight months ago, I applied PTL. It was very difficult. Yeah, for me, English is a yeah, second language, so yeah, the writing candidacy was one of my longest writings. But I was very happy. And then I, I, okay, and then I became PTL. Yeah, that is because nobody candidated. <laughs> but uh, I was happy, then I was so happy to participate in Project Team, team Gathering on last February for, at, for the first time. And also I'm happy that I'm staying here as a PTL. So yeah, this is the, my, uh, hopefully last slide, what I've learned from. One is that internationalization team activities gave me some kind of braveness and also some confidence working it other internationalized people. So I'm sure that my English was not good about three years ago. Now, yeah, I'm still not good, but I think yeah, it was yeah, getting better and better. Also, I've learned that of some ki kind of open source philosophy and also how to live in open, stack, open source world, respecting other people is very important. And so when I participate in open source world, I try to respect other cultures. It's very important. And I also realized that technologies were actually the same. Yeah, it does not depend on uh, local regions. It's global. And also, if you have some difficulties, yeah, please ask to others. Open, at least, OpenStack world is very open. And the final thing I want to say is translation is 
translation results are merged into upstream real project repositories. It's very nice to contribute upstream. Yep. <laughs> No more slide, but yeah, my outlook is that, in my opinion, that uh, some participation with upstream contribution and downstream contribution and user activities, uh, user group activities, would be ne needed to be merged each other. So I'm now trying to more uh, involving in user group activities. It will give another opportunity, I think. So yeah, please participate. Anything yeah, with internationalized people, it'll make you another new great opportunity for internationalized world. Yep, thank you. Okay, thank you, Yang. Yep. Hi, everyone. I'm very, really happy to be here with you today. And as the Rolling Stones said, please let me introduce myself. <clears throat> I work at Ozone, a French company based in Paris. And at Ozone, we like to say that we are cloud pure player company. Um, I'm also the French i 18 and team coordinator for France and a member of the i 18 and core team as Ian and Frank. And uh, I actively contribute to Dashboard French Translation and Review and to the Guides Review, which is uh, really hard work. Okay. So uh, let's talk about what's going on in France with the uh, ITN activity and how is the local team organized. If you log on to Zanata, the translation platform, you can see that there are more than 30 registered users on the platform, but actually less than five active contributors. Um, what do the contributors do? Uh, it's mainly the, contribu the contributors do translation and review. Translation of horizon and translation of documentation. Um, there is also a, a, a team called, um, a local team coordinator presently I am this one. And uh, people communicate with ISC channel and the mailing list. Um, well, the title of my presentation was Want to Join Us, Just Follow the Guide. Okay. Are there prerequisites to join a local team? Uh, first of all, the target language must be your native language, of course. And the source language is English. Uh, it's better to feel good with the cloud and open source terminology, terminology. And finally, you have to earn an open stack ID to log on to Zanata platform, which, which is the only tool you use if you want to translate something. Um, if, suppose if I, I, I want to join a local team, what must I have to do to join a local team? Well, don't worry. It's very easy. You just have to log on Zanata platform with your OpenStack ID, go to the languages page, choose the language and ask for the local team integration, and say if you want to be a translator, a reviewer, or both. Um, one important thing is to add your motivation to the request um, because it's likely that in the first time the coordinator uh, will hear about you. <clears throat> oh, it's an interesting bug. Oh, you need a mirror to, <laughs> okay, to read the slide. Sorry, oh, challenges. <laughs> it's funny. Funny. <laughs> what are the current release? Pike translation priorities. Well, how, how, 
how can you get the, can you read the priorities of the current release re cycle? It's quite simple. You, you, you just have to read the Zanata land, landing page and you don't even have to be logged on, okay? So what, what, what tools do we use to communicate between members in, Fran in France? So, um, the French team IRC meetings are hard to plan because people are not very, don't really feel good with the tools we use on a, day, on a daily basis. In France, most people want to use Slack, you know? But in openstat.org, we don't use Slack. Um, so the mailing list is the preferred and the most efficient communication tool in France. So, uh, so you will have to use the mailing list. And if there is no mailing list for your local team, just ask the coordinator to create one. It's just as simple as committing code. In fact, if you want to, if you want to create a mailing list, you will have to commit code. I uh, don't remember in which repository. Yeah, Chris, that's yeah. course. That's that. That's how. Um, the French local team has some weaknesses. Uh, for example, the glossary is a real issue. Do we really want to translate everything? What about the, what about the words like plugin, endpoint, snapshot? Well, the discussion is open. Um, our cousin from Western Canada want to translate everything. In my opinion, I don't think the French people want to do that. We also need to speed up the installation guide translation because we have some delay, you know. And the more recent um, installation guide in his uh, French version is the Mitaka one. So we have to speed up. Okay, the installation get translation. We also need to improve the reviewing process because uh, presently we are in a best effort mode um, and we, we need to improve the process, okay? Well, in fact, we have no, pr we have no reviewing process. So we, we do as best as we can. Well, so it was my last slide, and if you're interested in translation, in reviewing in the French local team, come to join us. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Since you are a one of great language coordinators, I think. Okay. So this is the real review final slide. So if you are interested in translation or internationalization, or if you know someone who, who is very interested in internet translation or who wants to read and is translated document, then please tell us via mailing list or IH channel or please advertise the end this, this week page. And then they might be more familiar with translation world. Yeah, they can contribute or they can at least find, oh, in open source world, translation is very good progress, has very good progress. So we also open IRC every Thursday, but alternating some time zones. Yeah, this wiki shows yeah, these time zones. And also, please join to your local activities not only France, German, and so on, Romania, and so on. Recently, yeah, one Romanian uh, guy wanted to register or support a uh, Romanian translated document. So yeah, contact us. Yeah, this is yeah, my last <laughs> word. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs>